Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a foosball table. The very first thing you're going to need to do is you need to go on my website and you're going to need to print out this template. It has the measurements and everything on it that you need. And then this piece here will give you a key on what the actual parts all mean. Like blue, that's the little foosman. Purple, that's the other little foosman. And then these are the um, handles. And the bumpers is this green one okay now when you're doing it if you measure your thing you can use this as a guide to where you want to put your holes at too all right so go ahead and print that out it's under dollhouse manager madness and tutorials.com and we'll get started so once you have all of your pieces cut out what you're going to have to do is you're going to separate them and for the ends here, I just used a bandsaw and cut out that half moon right there, or half circle. But you can actually use a drill bit if you want and just drill it out and then sand it down. Or you can cut it out um, using that little coping saw. Same way with this. All right, so you're going to have a bottom, a top where the game field is going to be. If you want to paint this, you can, but as long as you print the template to size, you'll see it says on this one, print to scale. If you print it to scale and you cut it out exactly how it prints, these here fields will match this size. So it'll work perfect. Now, mine is cut a little bit bigger because I went by the measurements. And like I said before, sometimes you lose a little bit when you're scaling it into the computer. So mine's just slightly off there, so my field's not going to fit perfect. However, if you cut it out as this size and use these as your templates, as is, it will. All right. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken the top piece and I've put it over top of the bottom piece. And then I've marked where the circles are going to be, okay? At this point, if you want this to be painted, you can paint it. If not, you don't have to. But what you do need to do is you need to take your spacers, and you're going to have to glue them together and put them right on there, just like that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get some glue, and I'm going to glue them together, and I'm going to glue them onto this base. Okay, so when you're gluing it, you want to put glue on the corners of it and on the one side of it to start with. All right, and then you're going to press it in there. Try to get it as straight as you can on here, leaving equal amounts on each side. And then equal amounts at the end. You can pull this down, try to make it even with this here and even with it here, but do not overlap that circle part. So now once you have that done, you can clean the glue up around the edge if you want, but it's not necessary because it's not going to be seen. So you got equal here, equal here. It's close to equal on the front and on the back. Make it even. All right, now you're going to put some glue on top of here. Okay, so now you're going to glue this on top of here, all right? But you need to make sure that when you do it, you have it even. Otherwise, it'll end up being wonky. Just like that, okay? Let it sit. And dry check all four sides all right now at this point while this is drying you need to mark where you're gonna put the line so like what I did is I held it up against it and then I traced where I want my line to be so that way I know 
okay? Once that's dry, then we'll glue the rest of it together. Okay, so the next step is to go ahead and put glue on all the sides. And then you wanna add your side panels. When you're putting this on, this has to be at the bottom. And then you wanna put glue on the side here. Just like that. And attach them at the bottom. Okay, now you're gonna squeeze this together. Make sure you have it straight. Make sure all your ends right here, here, and all are all matching. Just leave that just like that. All right, and then we'll let that dry. Okay, so now you can cut out your template for the top. And if you match yours up to the template on there, then it should fit pretty perfect. And then you can set it in there and then apply some Mod Podge before you put it on there, put some Mod Podge on top of it to seal it. Since mine does not fit up, I'm gonna actually um, go ahead and just paint that little teeny tiny space there. And like I said, I made yours to where it's gonna fit if, as long as you cut your template or your wood to fit the template. I actually did mine as the measurement, so it's just a tiny bit bigger. So it lost a little bit in the scanning process and the creating part. So once that's dry, well first you wanna get rid of all of your excess glue along the edge. So get that gone there, or remove that rather. All right. And then after that, then you wanna apply your legs on the bottom, one in each corner, and then glue it. All right, so now you're just applying the glue on there and sticking it right onto the corner. And then you'll let it dry. Make sure you have them straight so they're not crooked. And then let them dry. Then it'll stand like that. Okay, so now, like, I'm going to Mod Podge that on there and everything, but the purpose of having that board on the inside is for the ball. Now this is obviously just a bead, but when it goes down in, there's nowhere for it to go. If you notice, it doesn't go back any further. It just stays in that little section right there. So you should be able to get it out pretty easily. All right, and then um, we'll go ahead and add the rest of it to it, and I'll show you the next step. So stay tuned. Okay, so now you have pretty much the whole thing put together. You can at this point Mod Podge your top on here, but the next step is to glue your quarter inch pieces on here, but we have to drill the holes for them first, so we want to tape them together. Okay, see. So you want to make sure that you have them even on both ends before you put your mask and tape around it. Tape it and then go again at the other end and tape that. Just like that. Okay, so how I've done this is I've laid out my template and I've got it laying on the side and I went in about a quarter of an inch on each, leaving even spacing and then I marked where I want my things to go. Now you want to go directly down the center of that all the way down. Well, that's not the center, but go down the center of it. Okay, so for this part, once I had my center marked, I went ahead and I took a piece of the same um, wire and I put it down the center of that. And I went ahead and decided to go ahead and drill slowly right in the middle. Now I did turn my wire into like a little um, half point 
So now you just want to go and do all of them just like that. Okay, so once you have them drilled, then you want to take your end pieces that we have cut, apply some glue to it. And you're going to put it directly on top of that end. Make sure that it's even. Now to avoid this part, if you don't want to do it like this, then you can always make your bottom pieces just a tiny bit taller. You can make this piece and this piece a quarter inch taller. But I just thought it would be easier to do the holes this way. So that's why I did mine like this. Okay, so what I've done is I've added Mod Podge there. Now I'm going to add my template on top. Press it down. You want to make sure it's even so it's not bending on the side. Alright, now once you get it pressed down, then you want to layer it with Mod Podge again. Okay, so once you have that done, then you want to glue your sides on. Put a little bit right here on this edge too, and over here on this edge. And then you want to glue it right there in place. It should look kind of like that. And then do the other side the same way. Okay, now you're going to take the second piece here and you're going to cut it and fit it right in between here. Make sure that you have it even with the top. Go ahead and rub your glue into that opening if there is one. Because sometimes the wood isn't exactly um, level or straight when you buy it. So you can, rather than using wood filler, you can just kind of put your glue in there. And then you're going to do the same thing to this side. Okay, so once you have that done, then you want to tape it so that it's secure until it dries. Okay, so to make our foos, people, we are going to be using some wooden craft sticks. And what we did is we cut a bunch of them at 3 8 inches, and then we're going to be drilling a hole right in the center. Now, I will tell you this. Um, the drill bit that we're using is actually just a piece of wire, and we ground the end of it to make it to where we could use it as a drill bit. That way it would be the same size, but you can use your drill bit if you want. So he's just kind of like just drilling it right through there with the wire. It's like you want to drill into your finger. It takes a little bit of time, but it works out great because when you put it on top of the, or through the piece on the table it's going to go easier. Okay so I just attached it onto the wood and then you can sand them and paint them whatever color you want but as you can see it rotates. Now I used a piece of bailing wire to do this here and um, I painted the inside and everything and I actually painted the outside too but then I sanded it because I didn't like the texture of it being um, rough on the edge, so I sand it the whole thing again and I'll just repaint it. But your Foos Man, you can um, paint any which way you want if you want to get detailed or just paint solid colors and sand them also as well. All right, and then we'll do the handles the same way and we'll be back. 
Okay, so for your wire, it's just floral wire, and I put some duct tape around the end of it to make the handle. And then you want to apply some um, crazy glue at the very end to keep it from going forward or backwards with the duct tape because sometimes it wants to move. After that, then you want to put it in your hole right here. And for my foosball people, I just took an eraser that looks like this, and I cut it to fit so that it's not quite touching the bottom, but it's got a tiny bit of space, but it's very close. Then I took another piece of wire, and I used that as my drill, and I poked a hole in each one. And then now I'm just following the pattern on the template, and I'm applying them. You have to work it a little bit to get it in there. All right, you wanna do all of them just like that, slide it on there. Okay, when you get to the other side, you wanna poke it through that hole on that side. Once you get it in that hole, push it all the way through to where this is touching the wood on this side. Then take your pliers and you want to put a bend in the wire. So it should look like that. Once you have it done, push your bar all the way across to where it's like this. and then adjust your foosball people to match this side here. And it should work. just like that. Now you can apply a little bit of glue on each one if you want on the sides of it to keep them from sliding back and forth, but if nobody's really going to play with it, then you don't need to. All right, you want to continue that process along both sides. Again, put a little dab of crazy glue on the edge here and on the edge of this side of the tape just to keep the tape from sliding and then the same way there. If you notice they do slide. Now foosball tables have stoppers so if you don't want to bend your wire you can glue a bead on the end rather than gluing it, I mean rather than bending it here. Alright, continue this process with the applying the racer to the wire and the tape for the next two holes and then you'll be done. And all you have to do is paint it. Okay guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to follow Dollhouse Manager Madness and Tutorials.com. Also, check us out on Facebook, Dollhouse Manager Madness and Tutorials, and on YouTube. Like and subscribe to the channel because we post videos all the time. And leave a comment, question, or suggestion because we love hearing from you. And if you like Pinterest, we have tons of pens on there as well under Laurie Holden Heisler. Alright, thanks a lot. Have a great day.